Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got something really exciting lined up for you. We're diving into the fascinating world of everyday objects. Yes, you heard it right. Those mundane things that you use daily without giving a second thought have some incredible stories to tell. From the humble toothbrush to the ubiquitous coffee cup, from the simple paperclip to the expressive emojis, we're going to explore the history, science, and cultural impact of these objects. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and get ready to embark on this exciting journey. Let's start with something we all use every morning yet know so little about, the toothbrush. Stay tuned. Ever thought about how the toothbrush came into being? It's a tale that dates back thousands of years. Picture this, an ancient civilization where people cleaned their teeth using simple chew sticks, essentially twigs with frayed ends. Fast forward a few millennia to China, where the invention of the hog bristle toothbrush took place. Instead of twigs, Chinese people used stiff, coarse hairs from the back of a hog's neck, attached to handles made of bone or bamboo. Sounds rough, doesn't it? The game changer came in 1938, with the invention of nylon by DuPont. This material made it possible to produce toothbrushes on a large scale, and with softer, more durable bristles. Enter the modern toothbrush as we know it, a far cry from the crude chew sticks of yore. So the next time you brush your teeth, remember, you're partaking in a ritual that's been around for centuries. Wonder why chocolate melts in your mouth? It's all about the science of taste. When you bite into a piece of chocolate, the magic begins. The melting point of cocoa butter, the main ingredient in chocolate, is just below human body temperature, which is why it seems to dissolve on your tongue. But it's not just about melting points. You see, our tongue is a complex organ equipped with thousands of taste buds. Each taste bud contains receptors that respond to different flavors. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. When chocolate hits your tongue, the receptors send signals to your brain, creating that delightful sensation. Similarly, the tangy taste of citrus fruits comes from citric acid, triggering the sour receptors, while the fiery sensation of chili peppers is due to a compound called capsaicin. So now you know, there's a fascinating science behind every bite you take. The rubber duck, a bath time icon. But do you know its surprising origins? This cheerful yellow companion first floated into our lives in the late 19th century. Originally, it wasn't designed for the bathtub at all, but as a durable chew toy for dogs. Made from solid rubber, these ducks didn't even float. But as the 20th century rolled in, the rubber duck began to evolve. Manufacturers started to hollow out the duck's interior, giving it the ability to bob along the water's surface. Before long, it became a staple of bath time entertainment for children worldwide. Beyond the bathroom, the rubber duck has made quite a cultural impact. It's been the subject of songs, starred in movies, and even featured in massive art installations. Its simple, playful design has truly captured the world's imagination. From a humble chew toy to a cultural symbol, the rubber duck certainly made a splash. Post-it notes, a staple in our offices and homes, but do you know their unexpected story? A tale of serendipity, the post-it note was born from an accidental invention. Dr. Spencer Silver, a scientist at 3M, was aiming to create a super strong adhesive, but instead he stumbled upon a low-tack repositionable one. This failed experiment sat unused for six years until a colleague, Art Fry, saw its potential as a bookmark that wouldn't fall out of his choir hymnal. Fast forward a few decades and post-it notes have gone beyond being mere bookmarks. They've become an essential tool for brainstorming sessions their bright colors stimulating creative thinking. They've been used to color code and organize thoughts, to jot down reminders, and even to create wall-sized murals. Some have even used them as a medium for art or to spread positive messages in public spaces. So, the post-it note, a product of serendipity, has found its place in our everyday life. Ever wondered why the keys on your keyboard are arranged the way they are? The QWERTY keyboard layout named for the first six letters on the top row of letters, is a fascinating piece of history that we interact with every day. This layout was created in the late 19th century during the typewriter era. Inventor Christopher Scholes found that fast typists would often jam the machine, so he designed a layout that would slow them down by separating the most commonly used letters. Despite the arrival of alternative layouts like Dvorak and Colmac, designed for efficiency and reduced finger movement, the QWERTY layout remains the standard. It's a testament to the power of habit and the resistance to change. Once people learn a certain way of doing things, it can be rather difficult to switch to a different method, even if it's potentially more efficient. It turns out the QWERTY keyboard layout is a relic of the typewriter era that we still use today. The coffee cup, an essential part of our morning ritual, but do you know its history? 
Let's journey back to the 12th century, where it all began in the Middle East with small, handleless cups. As coffee traveled to Europe in the 17th century, the coffee cup evolved, adopting a handle to protect delicate, aristocratic fingers from the hot beverage. Fast forward to the 20th century, paper coffee cups made their debut, revolutionizing the way we consume coffee on the go. Then came the invention of the iconic disposable lid, turning coffee into an even more portable pleasure. The coffee cup's evolution didn't stop there. It found its way into our homes with unique designs and materials that reflect our personal style and love for this invigorating brew. From ceramic mugs to insulated tumblers, the coffee cup continues to evolve, shaping the way we enjoy our daily dose of caffeine. So the coffee cup is not just a vessel for our caffeine fix. It's a testament to our enduring love for coffee. Red means stop, green means go, but why these colors? It's not arbitrary, it's science. The color spectrum for traffic lights was chosen for its visibility range, especially under less than ideal conditions. Red, the color for stop, is at one end of the spectrum and can be seen from the farthest distance. It's a color that naturally demands attention, making it perfect for signaling danger or a need to halt. On the flip side, green, the color for go, is easier on the eyes and can be distinguished even by those with color vision deficiencies. It signifies safety and permission to proceed. Yellow, sandwiched between red and green, serves as a transitional warning to prepare drivers for the change ahead. These colors were not chosen merely for their aesthetic appeal, but for their practical functionality and universal understanding. They are an integral part of our daily navigation, silently guiding our journeys. So the colors of traffic lights are more than just tradition. They're a universal language on the road, a paperclip, a simple object with a significant history. Born out of necessity in the late 19th century, this unassuming piece of bent wire quickly became a staple of offices worldwide, but its true significance lies beyond the realm of paperwork. During the Second World War, the paperclip took on an unexpected role. In occupied Norway, wearing a paperclip was a silent act of defiance against Nazi forces. It symbolized unity and resistance, as the unbroken wire represented the continuous bond of the Norwegian people. The paperclip also played a role in helping prisoners of war. Its simple structure was easily transformed into a lockpick, aiding daring escapes. From a humble office supply to a symbol of resistance, the paperclip's journey is truly extraordinary. Who would have thought the humble paperclip, a symbol of resistance and unity? Emojis, they've changed the way we communicate, but do you know where they came from? Let's dive in. The first emojis were created in 1999 by a Japanese artist named Shigetaka Kurita. They were initially designed to express emotions on mobile platforms, breaking the barriers of language. As technology advanced, so did emojis. They evolved from simple smileys to complex characters, representing a vast array of emotions, objects, and even cultural symbols. The Unicode Consortium, the nonprofit organization that standardizes characters across different platforms, now recognizes over 3,000 emojis. Emojis have not just revolutionized our text messages or social media posts, but they've also made their way into our emails, advertising, and even movie scripts. They have become a universal language in the digital world, transcending cultural and linguistic boundaries. So, emojis have evolved from simple smileys to a universal language in the digital world. Yawning, it's contagious, but why? Let's dive into the science behind this intriguing human behavior. Contrary to popular belief, yawning isn't just a sign of boredom or sleepiness. It's a complex reflex act that involves simultaneous stretching of our eardrums and a deep inhalation, followed by a slower exhalation. Some theories suggest yawning helps keep our brains alert, cools them down, and even prepares us for a change in activities. But why do we yawn when others do? This phenomenon known as contagious yawning is still a mystery. However, researchers believe it might be linked to our social and empathetic nature as humans. Some studies suggest that contagious yawning is a form of unconscious mimicry, a behavior we might have developed to promote social bonding and cohesion. So, yawning is more than just a sign of tiredness. It's a fascinating scientific phenomenon. The next time you yawn, remember, it's your body performing a complex, mysterious, and incredibly human act. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the fascinating world of everyday objects. We've explored the evolution of the toothbrush, the science of taste, the cultural impact of the rubber duck, the unexpected uses of post-it notes, the story behind the QWERTY keyboard layout, the journey of the coffee cup, the reasoning behind the colors of traffic lights, the humble beginnings of the paperclip, the revolution sparked by emojis, and the intriguing science of yawning. If you've enjoyed this trip as much as we did, 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. We have plenty more surprising facts and fascinating stories to share with you. Remember, the world is full of wonders, even in the most ordinary things. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in our next video. Until then, keep yawning, keep wondering, and keep learning.